Hey guys, happy Sunday. For today's challenge, day nine of the challenge, I thought I would share with you some healthy practices that I do on every Sunday to prepare for the week. Um, so there's a handful of things I do on Sunday. I meal plan all of my meals out, which is what today's post is going to be about. I cook and, or I soak and cook all of my beans and grains that I'm going to use in recipes that week. I wash and cut all of my veggie and produce and make a big monster salad so it's always in the fridge. And I do some healthy baking. So I usually bake one to two things that I'll have them around the house because that way I'm not tempted to reach for something processed and unhealthy. So today's post being about meal planning, I'm going to talk to you about a system that I use that I have totally fallen in love with. It's changed my life and I hope it's something you'll give a try to as well. Um, but the basic point is you need to plan to be healthy. If you don't plan your meals in for the week, you're going to end up reaching for that takeout menu all too often or that box of Gardenay soup in the cupboard, which, you know, is good once in a while, but you don't want to fall into that system where you just, you know, five o'clock rolls around and you're not sure what you're making for dinner. Um, so the system that I use is called Plan to Eat. Now, I can't even remember where I stumbled across this. Um, I first started using it about a year and a half ago, um, and there's some really great features on it. The, the one that I love most about it is I have been able to upload... Uh, recipes from blogs that I really like or recipes I found online. I've also been able to get rid of almost every one of my cookbooks because you can basically store all of your recipes in this system. Um, then what you do is it has a calendar and you basically drag and drop recipes for the week of what you'd like to make that week. After you've done that, it spits you out this neat, tidy grocery list that you take with you with all of the ingredients you need to make those things. So how cool is that? And that's a really important thing. You always want to go to the grocery store with a list. Otherwise, you're going to end up grabbing stuff you don't need and, you know, unhealthy things most likely, and it's going to cost you a lot more money that way. So meal planning not only saves money, but saves you inches because you're going to be a lot healthier. Um, so I usually do a large grocery run on Sunday. This is when I pick up everything for the recipes for that week, and then I do small produce runs throughout the week, whether at the farmer's market or wherever, just to pick up fruits and veggies so that they're nice and fresh. Um, so some key points when it comes to planning my meals, I always look at the calendar, see what's going on. So if we have company coming over, or um, if we've got you know, just a really busy day, then I'm already planning something really easy to make in that day. I always calendar in what I call leftover buffet, so you know, you're, you're always going to have a little bit extra from every meal. So plan one day where you're just going to use all that stuff up, uh, which leads me to my next point about batch cooking. Whenever you're preparing a meal, such as the lasagna, always make two of them and freeze the other one. So you always have meals ready on hand in a pinch. Um, you also want to make a little bit more than what you're going to need for that night so that you have lunch the next day. So again, if you are brown bagging it for work, this is a really great way to make sure that you've got lunch in the fridge ready to go. And like I mentioned, having that big salad in the fridge at the start of the week is going to encourage you to pop that into your uh, brown bag more often. Um, so in the blog, I'm going to list a link to Plan to Eat. Now, this um, the great thing about this service is they have a free 30-day trial. So you can try it out. You can uh, play around with meal planning, upload some recipes. Uh, when you do sign up for the trial, you can also choose to add me as a friend. I have about, I think about 350 uh, vegan, vegetarian, fresh and healthy recipes in there that we can share. Um, after the 30 days has ended, I think it's under $5 a month, but trust me, this is an essential part of being healthy. So if you plan to be healthy, you will. And um, that's kind of it for today. I'll do some screen snapshots of Plan to Eat as well on the blog so that you can see, um, you know, kind of what you're going to be working with. But I highly would encourage you to do this. If you're not going to use that system, find one that works for you, but just make sure you are planning your meals. Um, I also, uh, every Monday on the blog, I post my menu for the week so that it gives you some new recipes to try if you'd like. And I have a recipes tab at the top of the blog where I store most of my recipes that you'll be able to see. Um, and uh, check out the blog roll as well because there's some really great blogs out there that post great recipes every week. So lots of sources of inspiration out there, but the point is that you do it, you plan it, you eat it, you feel great. Okay, so that's it for today. Go do some planning and let me know if you sign up for Plan to Eat so we can be friends on there and share our recipes. See ya.